Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Pinocchio for the Super Nintendo. Okay, there's the coachman right there, so I'm just gonna kick him into the water. I believe that's Lampwick over there and some other donkey. Yeah, all the kids turn to donkeys here, remember? So apparently I had to escape before I become one myself. Oh great, there's a ghost. Or some kind of demon. And there's rocks. Which is what you expect in a place full of rocks. Whoa, you ain't grabbing me. Oh, he grabbed me. He usually slams me down, then it just spanks me down a ramp. Because he's such a badass. Ah, got me again. I don't really like these enemies for obvious reasons. Like, there are some times when I clearly hit him, and he gets me first. <coughs> Excuse me? Like, look at this. He, he won't go far away. Oh, come on! You know what? Forget it. That piece of health is not worth it. He'll probably get more later. Like, right here! Okay, at least I got that guy. Sadly, they respawn after you leave. I'll grab that. Haha, <laughs> kick a seagull in the face. That makes me awesome. Okay, there seems to be a lot of items over there. I should definitely try to grab them. Ow. Oh, oh. There we go, got another extra life. Oh, that's where that enemy was that I keep missing. Eh, bypass him completely. Okay, now let's try going the other way. Apparently I have to make my way to the top. This is a very awkward cliff design, I'm not gonna lie. It seems like it ends in so many places, and that there's so many holes doesn't look very steady, but then again, this is Disney. Nothing is supposed to make sense. It's like, why are seagulls out for my blood? Why is that? Do they have something against donkeys? Or people that wear blue bow ties with donkey ears? Then again, I didn't have donkey ears at the start, and seagulls are still after my ass. So why are seagulls basically a common enemy in this game? I don't understand. And they just seem to be popping out of the rocks. What is up with that? Like, I did not see a seagull just fly in. It just materialized out of the cliff. At least that's what I noticed from this perspective. Oh, PETA. I'm pretty sure if you're going to be complaining about Super Mario 3D Land, you'll be complaining about me kicking a seagull in the face. What? It's self-defense. And again, seagulls are not cute, so I'm pretty sure PETA will not care. That's how it is. That's how it is. I mean, seagulls are really a feathered rat. That or the pigeon. Okay, so this is how you beat the boss. You just keep kicking him right in the crotch or in the foot. Hey, Mr. Donkey. Congratulations, you just killed a man. So you get the badge of bravery. Yes, I committed murder. I'm going to jump on the corpse. And that's how you get the second badge. At home, Jiminy found Geppetto, Cleo, and Figaro had gone. The letter from the Blue Fairy says they have been swallowed by Monstro the Whale. Wait, a fairy wrote that? Uh, I thought fairies were supposed to stay in the fairy kitchen. No time to write, you know. Unless you're going to write up a sandwich. Okay. In case you're wondering what those little clams are for, or scallops, whatever I picked up. They essentially make sure you do not walk upside down in the water. 
you need five to be able to walk right side up. And when you run out, I completely go to zero, and well, you go back to walking upside down. I don't understand what the big deal is, but I think there could be more hazards upside down. But you get the idea. Not to mention it's very awkward to be walking upside down. Oh, oh, ah! couldn't get on that stingray in time. Actually, there seems to be pretty good power-ups here. At least that's one good thing to count on. And the stingrays don't actually hurt you when you walk into them. So they make pretty good platforms. It's Gravity Man from Mega Man 5 all over again. All over again. Oh good, more health. Even more health. Eh, this is not too bad. At least right is still right. Ow! Okay, let's get through all this again. Avoid the urchins. And the electric eels, which for some reason don't look much like eels. <coughs> Ow. Thank you, Captain Douchebag. Or maybe your Admiral Douchebag, I don't know. I never really pay attention to your rank. And that lionfish just roared me right into Monstro. While Pinocchio searched, Geppetto, Cleo, and Figaro were trapped inside Monstro. Practically bored as hell. Monstro was hungry and coming for Pinocchio. What? Monstro wanted wood. He came to the right spot, apparently. Okay, basically, you had to get away from Monstro. Well, actually, I don't think you have to get away from him. Because eventually, essentially, you're supposed to get in Monstro. That's how the movie goes. I'm guessing this is more of a bonus game than anything else. When you grab onto the green fish, they just cough out an item for you. The lionfish just tries to roar you back, which you don't want if unless you want to finish early. The blue fish are just normal. Later on, you run into turtles that just go in a straight line, but they do propel you faster ahead. Not that it's a bad thing, but you have no control. You can only go straight. And of course, they don't cough up an item. And I got eaten. Pinocchio! Geppetto cried. I've come to rescue you, father! Answered Pinocchio. But how? Asked Geppetto. Pinocchio had an idea. Let's make him sneeze us out! Okay. Yeah, I don't know what Geppetto is doing getting ready to sail. He's not even on a raft yet. But I guess that's just game logic. Couldn't come up with an extra sprite, I guess. Okay, so your objective is to pick up as much wood as possible while kicking your crabs around. Well, they're not exactly your crabs, they're Monstro's crabs. But you get the idea. Collect as much wood as you can until you see it flashing. That means you picked up enough. <coughs> In this difficulty, I think it's 10 or 15. Probably on hard, it's a little bit more. All you have to do is kick boxes, that's all you do. And just pick up that little bit of wood in the middle. How does this guy swallow a seagull? It's a whale! It's like seagulls are damn everywhere. They really don't let up. Neither do those crabs. Okay, you cannot kick barrels, but you can use them as a platform. So make the most of it. Kicking crabs and grabbing your wood. Oh yeah. Sounds like a good time to me. Or probably just heading on the way to a VD clinic. Whatever works for you. Just don't step on the spikes.
Whoa! That was close. Okay, even if I pick up enough wood, I'm still not done. I still gotta set the fire. And that's somewhere else on the boat. Or on the wreckage. Okay, I picked up enough wood. So I don't need to kick anymore, but... I might as well, because I'm bored. Eh, let's see what's over this way. Okay, so I needed that barrel. Okay, fair enough. Ow, stupid crab. Is it safe down there? Yes, it is. I have to make sure because somewhere below there's water. And if you fall in the water, of course, you die instantly. Damn it! Like that barrel was right where I was gonna land originally. But because I grabbed onto the ledge, that little delay cost me my life. Luckily, there was a checkpoint. So let's try this again and not screw up. Hey! Don't do that! Ah, there we go. Funny thing was, like you, when, you was, when I was ducking down, I couldn't even see the box. It was a bit too low for me. So, good thing I landed on a good spot. Like, I could see the barrel, but I couldn't see the box. Okay, I assume that was just a book. Okay, in order for me to light the fire, I have to get to the very end of this whole bit of jumping. Then I can make my way upward, light the fire, then I gotta go all the way back to the lower left so I can finish the level. Okay, there it is. There, the fire is lit. That's all I needed to do. I had to make sure I had enough wood, and there we go. Lighting my wood on fire and avoiding crabs. Like a boss. And I gotta be jumping from box to box. That sounds like a very awkward time. Jumping from box to box, lighting your wood on fire, kicking crabs around. And I don't know what the barrel's gotta do with it, but I assume it's for porn. The whale sneezed and they were free. Monstro gave chase. Row faster, father, cried Pinocchio. Okay, so this is the final level. What you have to do, duck under the rocks or jump over them. You have to avoid Monstro this time. Whenever you see pink or red around the rocks, that means duck. When you see purple or blue, just jump. I never really understood what those mini whirlpools do, but I assumed to get them just for my own good. Of course, if you hit a rock, you die. Then you gotta start over from that checkpoint. Usually you trigger a check checkpoint whenever you see Monstro. So you don't have to start the entire level over. Wow, he's got really nice teeth. And yes, the seagulls are back. What fun. Like, this level doesn't get hard until you start moving faster, like now, for instance. That means you gotta react faster, too.
Luckily, this level is not too long. You can easily handle it with a bit of practice. Stupid seagull! <laughs> Man, this guy really doesn't let up. I could pick up better dinner than this. Oh, I forgot to jump. Damn. Well, at least I died right after a checkpoint. So I'm not gonna miss too much. Or I have to repeat too much. Oh, wait a minute. It started with, like, a rock I had to jump over first. So a checkpoint must not be after every time Monstro reaches ya. I thought it was. Ah, damn! Couldn't jump in time. Alright, let's try this again! Well, at least Geppetto doesn't have to worry about those damn seagulls. How can he jump so high anyway? Usually when you're old, your legs cannot hold up to a high jump. I don't know how much milk he's been drinking. To be honest, I don't even want to know. Okay, this must be where I died. Oh, you almost screwed me over, Seagull. That was close. No, this must be where I died. Eh. Concentrate, Bonga, concentrate. Don't ask why I did that. Was it here that I died? I don't remember. Uh, let's see. Save Geppetto. Go on. Save Geppetto. Go on. Save Geppetto. Go on. Save Geppetto. Go on. Save Geppetto. Oh, fuck it, I'll save Geppetto. And I get the badge of unselfishness! So that's all three. I'll just save Geppetto with a smile on my face. Pinocchio ducked through a hole in the rock as Monstro made a last charge. Geppetto awoke on the beach next to Pinocchio. At home, Geppetto laid Pinocchio on the bed. My poor, brave, unselfish boy! Geppetto heard the blue fairy. As he has proven to be brave, truthful, and unselfish, he will be a real boy forevermore. Father, said Geppetto, said Pinocchio. I'm a real boy! A real boy, cried Geppetto. This calls for a celebration. When you wish upon a star, thought Jiminy Cricket, your dreams do come true. Gee, thanks, Blue Fairy. And then Geppetto tells Pinocchio, Hey, uh, I'm a Catholic priest. You know what to do. Anyways, that's it. That's Pinocchio for the Super Nintendo. Of course, that was a very, very short game, but each level was quite unique. To an extent, it reminded me of Earthworm Jim. Like, each level had some bit of uniqueness to it. Albeit, it wasn't as fun as Earthworm Jim, but it has its charm all the same. So anyways, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play.
Well, that wasn't much of an ending. See everyone.